I'll look for the exit portal after the allotted time. Thank you, Princess. Oh dear. I can only imagine what staying in a place like this would do to a person. Um, hello, Mr. T-Rex, is it? What is it? Who's there? My imprisonment is torment enough without visitors. My apologies, T-Rex. My name is Dr. Wolf. I'm here to help you. Unless you intend to enable my escape, I am not interested in help from the likes of you. Not exactly, T-Rex. I'm here on behalf of the princesses. They've sanctioned me to provide you a compassionate ear, to see if there's any way you might consider changing your ways. <laughs> so it's yet another pony errand boy, is it? Tell me, my well-trained canine, what is it about being on such a tight leash that gratifies you lesser creatures so much? I really think you'd be surprised at how much being of service to others can give meaning to one's life. Ugh, ridiculous. I would never submit to serving anyone but myself. There are only two kinds of beings in this world. Those who seek power and those who are too weak to do more than serve the powerful. Well, that's certainly an interesting perspective. Would you like to talk about it, as long as I'm here? <laughs> yes, let's talk. Nothing would please me more than to unburden my soul to you. Dr. Wolf, why don't you come a little closer so that we might understand each other more clearly? Very well. If you would be willing to discuss your feelings and motivations frankly, I am confident we can come to some kind of understanding- Um... What is this? You have no magic at all? <laughs> Guilty as charged, I suppose. I have no magic for you to absorb. Ah, no wonder the princesses chose you to come to speak to me. You're so worthless, they knew I wouldn't be able to take advantage of your weakness to escape. t -Rex, a being's worth comes down to a lot more than whatever specific power they may have. That's exactly the kind of answer I would expect from the weak. Discord understood that. That's why it was so easy for me to convince him to betray those ponies. No one with a taste for true power could be satisfied by mere friendship or being of service. Ha! Well, that may have been true at the time. But Discord has since mended his relations with the ponies and now lives free in Equestria. It seems he has decided that living in harmony with others is better than always seeking your own advantage at others' expense. That fickle fool! I suppose I should have expected him to go crawling back to the ponies. I will never make that mistake. One day, I will once again be free to rule, as I so deserve. Forgive me, t rex but the reason why you are imprisoned here is because you've made more mistakes than anyone. I'm trying to help you understand that, for your own well-being. You'd think it's a mistake to follow your own dreams and desires. Why is it so much better for you to live in subservience to these ponies? Oh, well, personally I've always felt 
happy to be helping others. I've spent the last several years supporting ponies through their problems, and I feel very much at peace when I can lift their spirits. It's a habit that goes all the way back to the pony who saved my life as a pup and transformed me into what you see today. <laughs> I suspected that grotesque, unnatural form of yours was due to pony meddling. Well, yes, I was altered in many ways from an ordinary wolf so that I could better serve my master's wishes. <laughs> And what makes you think your master didn't plant a seed in your mind that keeps you bound to pony kind? I... What? Just think for a moment, Mr. Wolf. A pony uses his magic to give you a voice, give you hands, give you intelligence. Why wouldn't he also make you unwilling to do anything but serve him? Or at least, those like him? I, uh... It's exactly what I would have done, were I in his place. And just look at you now, following their every whim out of some misplaced sense of obligation to make them happy, not yourself, and just ask yourself, can you ever really be your own person with that possibility hanging over your head? No person is an island, T-Rex. We've all been influenced by our upbringing, and we all have obligations to those around us. That doesn't make us slaves, but collaborators. Although, I suppose you do have a very good point about one thing. I can't ever really know what my master did to me all those years ago, or even what his intentions for me really were. Maybe there could be some lingering need to serve pony kind. Maybe that's why I've always wanted to lift their spirits. Or maybe I've always been able to make my own choice, just as my brother taught me. I don't suppose I'll ever have a clear answer, but I think I'm okay with that. Then you're a gullible fool! You're willing to risk allowing yourself to live as a brainwashed slave when you could seek greater things for yourself. I've spent enough time alone pursuing the goals of my former master, whatever they were. I'm willing to risk being a fool if it means I can enjoy the company of others in mutual service. I'm hoping for you to learn that as well. You're wasting your time and my patience. There is nothing I need to learn from you or from anyone. What about from your brother? Scorpan was his name, according to your case file here. I understand he also decided it was better to live in harmony with- Do not speak of him. I have no brother. Why would you say something like that? The connections of family mean nothing to me. Scorpan betrayed me, his own brother, in order to live the life of a graven sycophant, groveling to those pathetic ponies. He abandoned brotherhood with me when he abandoned everything I thought we stood for. I see. So, you've truly given up everything, then? All in the name of power for its own sake? That is the measure of my resolve. Yes. Not that I would expect a willing slave like you to understand. So you have nothing to live for except your own selfishness? What you call selfishness, I call ambition. 
If that is true, then why didn't you throw this away a long time ago? Where did you get that? At the time of your defeat, after the magic chest was opened, the keys became obsolete and reverted to their original forms. I'm told this medallion was a gift from your brother, and you held on to it in remembrance of him. You were told wrong, slave. I kept that medallion as a reminder never to allow myself to be fooled by anyone again. Not even by his supposed brother. Giving it to Discord to convince him to trust me was the perfect irony. I'm sorry, T-Rex, but I think you are the one fooling yourself. Like I care about your opinion. I think your brother was your last connection to a life based on love, trust, and goodwill. The two of you may have started out with similar ambitions, but when Scorpan decided there were more important things to care about, it created a rift between you. And instead of letting go of your greed and your pride, you let go of your own brother instead. Shut up. And at this point, you simply can't allow yourself to admit it, because doing so would force you to acknowledge what you've lost in the pursuit of your ambitions. No allies, no friends, no family. You're alone in the depths of Tartarus with nothing to comfort you but your own hatred. If you admitted that unpleasant truth to yourself and what it truly meant to you, it would make for quite the buyer's remorse, I expect. You don't know what you're talking about! This medallion is the very last connection you have to what you lost. That's why you held on to it. Whatever small part of you still cares about your brother is what made you keep it. I sincerely hope that one day, that small part of you will finally find a way to lead you out of this place. Until then... I'll leave that there for you as... inspiration for whichever part of you has not yet been consumed by hate. It looks like that's my cue to leave. It was nice chatting with you, and I do wish you all the best. I really mean that, t rex Good riddance! I've had enough of your self-righteous prattling!